Okay, so here you can see um, a reaction sequence. Notice we have cyclopentanol and we have a two step reaction sequence. Okay, this two step reaction sequence going from an alcohol to an ether, right? What is the name of this sequence called or this reaction called? Williamson ethers. Yeah, that's the Williamson ether. Okay, so. Remember, Williamson ether, right, you're going to have the sodium hydride, and then after that, you're going to react that with your alkali ion, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw the mechanism of this reaction, okay? So recall, again, just like I always say, when we're about to draw a mechanism, we're going to erase everything except for the active ingredients, okay? And we want to expand the portions that the reaction mechanism is uh, reacting on, okay? The arrows are going to be kind of coordinated around. So I'm going to erase this. In fact, I know what this thing's going to be making, but make sure you're always aware of kind of, you know, your end goal, you know, because this is kind of like you're going from one place to some destination. So if I'm saying going from home to school or something like that, and I forget, after I leave home where I'm going, right, then I'll just be driving around forever not knowing where I'm going, okay? Not going anywhere. Okay, so if we don't remember what the product is, um, we probably won't get it right, okay? The mechanism is, okay? So the other thing we want to do, not only expand this structure, but I also like to draw in my lone pair electrons because that oftentimes helps me. So what is the name of this? This is a salt, right? Okay, what is the name of this salt or ionic compound? Sodium. Yeah, sodium hydride. And the sodium, does that do anything in this reaction? No, uh -huh, it's the hydride portion, right? So what does a hydride have that's different than an actual hydrogen atom? A negative charge, a negative charge and a, another electron, right? That's how you get your negative charge. So, Remember, the sodium, it just kind of is a spectator ion, so just the hydride is what we're really going to draw, okay? We can draw the sodium out there, so we can draw our kind of intermediate if you want to, okay? So hydride is a hydrogen with a negative charge and two electrons, so that's the way I like to draw it. And is there an acidic hydrogen over here? Does anybody see one? Yes, we do, on the oxygen, yes, the alcohol, the proton. So what's going to happen? The hydride is going to deprotonate the alcohol proton. These electrons are going to go to that oxygen there, okay, making the alkoxide, the anion, okay? So just like I always say, I'm not doing this because I don't know how to write the mechanism, I'm doing this for you. Okay, so if you're not drawing, probably not the best use of your time at this point in time. I would suggest drawing. Okay, so everybody by now should have been able to draw the product. You have it. So draw it out and see if what you drew is the same thing that I drew. Okay, so did you draw that? Okay, wonderful. We've got our sodium ion, so we can think of it kind of coordinating around there a little bit. Not that there's an actual bond or anything, okay? And what else did we make in this reaction? H2. H2, remember. So remember, when we're doing this reaction in the lab, we're going to add the sodium hydride until we stop seeing the what? The hydrogen bubbles coming up, okay? So that H2, I'm going to put like a little arrow like it flies away, okay? Oftentimes you'll see that in an organic reaction. So that thing's not there anymore, okay? So that's the end of the first step of the reaction, okay? So remember THF? What was THF doing in there? Why didn't we use that, THF? What is THF? normally used for, like I told you about a thousand times. What did 
I say about TH and nobody can solve it. So yeah, this is a polar acrotic solvent. Very good. So if you didn't write that down, right, that would have been something that you probably should write down. That's one of those things that I'm saying, like, I know. If you didn't write it down when I said, now I'm asking you again, right, that's going to be a wrong answer if it was on the test. So write it down. Okay, so why didn't we show THF in this mechanism? It doesn't do anything. It's just like the media that the reaction is being performed in. Okay? So the second step is what? We have this salt with the sodium there, but the sodium again is just kind of a spectator. Okay? So we have this and we're reacting it with methyl iodide. Okay? So methyl iodide, CH3I. Okay. Of course, this is a primary alkyl halide with, well, it's, it's a methyl alkyl halide, so even more reactive than the primary, right? With a really good leaving group. Remember, iodine is the best of the leaving groups, or the best of the halogens to be a leaving group. So what's going to happen? Very good. The SN2 reaction. Okay. Just like that. We can even write SN2 to remind us. And what do we get at the end? What's the name of the functional group that we're about to draw? Yes, an ether. Very good. So we get this ether here. And of course, what you'll see in your at the bottom of your reaction flask is sodium iodide, the salt, so some white, you know, in the bottom of your reaction flask. You'll be spinning it around though. So, so that'll be your final product. This is the Williamson ether synthesis. Any questions about this? Okay, wonderful. So I expect you to know all that stuff that I asked you, okay? So check this one out again if you're having trouble, okay?